the bottom line is it, it, it has to do with something called elongation or stretching of the polar vortex. Now, typically, you can kind of think of the polar vortex like a lasso. It lassos in the cold air. But every once in a while, the lasso becomes kind of like wobbly, if you will. Well, the jet stream, which is the lasso, kind of became a little wobbly, and that's allowing a piece of the polar vortex to escape south. When you do that, what ends up happening is that energy from up north and all that cold air collides with the Gulf Stream and you get just an energized blockbuster storm that develops. And this one is going to be the equivalent of a Cat 3 hurricane. In fact, it's going to intensify so quickly that it's going to intensify at almost double the rate of the definition, the criteria for rapid intensification. And whenever you cause bombogenesis, whenever you cause a storm to intensify that rapidly, it, it throws off the pressure in the atmosphere. And to compensate for the pressure differential issues, the wind really starts to speed up fast <laughs> and it drives that cold air south. So if you wanted a meteorological reason for why it's going to be so cold, this is the reason. 